Good day everyone, Brayden here coming to you from the Magic Kingdom where as you can see behind me, we have this giant Christmas tree that has been put up in the middle of Town Square. Looking down Main Street, you can see the extent which Disney has decorated this year. You know, a few weeks ago we were in the fall season and the decor for the fall season this year was very sparse. That is not the case, thankfully, here with the holiday season. It really looks like we're getting back to the regular amounts of decoration for these different Magic Kingdom seasons. You can see you have all the garland, all the wreaths. Really excited to check it all out. What we're gonna be doing here today is checking out everything new here in the Magic Kingdom for the holiday season. We have five cavalcades that Disney is sending out throughout the day at random unannounced times, some of them featuring floats and music from Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade, which as you know in a normal year, that's a hard ticket event you have to pay for. That's part of Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. This year, it's something you get to experience for free, which is a nice treat from Disney there. Speaking of treats, there's also a lot of new holiday treats around the Magic Kingdom. We're gonna take a look at all of them on the menus, where they are, as well as actually try a few of them, whichever ones I think look good. So I'm very excited for us to do that. And as with any other Mickey Views News video, we'll be taking a look at all the other news, specifically taking a look at the latest progress on Tron Light Cycle Run. Without further ado, let's see what's going on new for the holiday season here in the Magic Kingdom. Here's something interesting. Because the parks have been getting much busier lately, they actually have two ways to Cinderella Castle. You can go the normal way, and the bypass way is actually open right now, the overflow bypass. Previously, this was an unthemed backstage area, but as you can see, Disney's done a good job of sprucing it up to look like it's just part of the park, and they've even got some holiday decor back here with the wreaths on every single street lamp. That's pretty awesome. I have to say, this really is the best time of the year in the Magic Kingdom. Right now, it's a perfect 76 degrees. We have a little bit of wind. We have all this decor by Cinderella Castle. Just such an awesome experience. Because of the angle of the sun right now, you can really see how reflective those blue parts of Cinderella Castle are. Since they repainted it rose gold, look at that. From Cinderella Castle, you can see all the work they're doing over there on Tron. Normally during the fall season, over here at Town Square, you have those scarecrows and the planters. They didn't have those this year, and I was a little worried we weren't gonna see the toy soldiers this year, but we did. They actually did do the landscaping there. Disney really did a good job of the decor this year. It's not 100% back. There's still a few areas, a few buildings around Main Street that are relatively sparse as far as the decorations go, but Disney did significantly more here than they did in the fall, and it's so great to see. Here you can see the shadow cast by the enormous Christmas tree, and in the distance, we have another Christmas tree heading down Main Street right now. It's Mickey's Holiday Cavalcade. Cavalcade was no joke. You had so many characters, even had Mary Poppins at the end there. That was awesome. Next up, we have the Princess Cavalcade, one that we've seen all year, but now at a special holiday decor. <laughs> So that was the Princess Cavalcade. Now we have the Main Street Philharmonic with the Toy Soldiers. The Main Street Philharmonic, awesome as always, with the Toy Soldiers, even better. Next up, we have Santa coming down Main Street. Hey, we found Santa. There he is. So good to see you all. Happy holidays. So that's Santa's Christmas cavalcade. We have one more of the main holiday cavalcades coming up, and that's Goofy's scrumptious cavalcade heading down Main Street right now. So those are the 
the main holiday cavalcades this year. There are actually two other cavalcades. There are a total of seven if you also count the Main Street Trolley with Eeyore and Piglet and Rabbit which I think is coming out right now. And then also another special cavalcade you have is the rainy day cavalcade on days where it's raining. And right now, when they do the rainy day cavalcade, uh, Mickey and Minnie do have on their holiday garb. So I guess you could call those holiday cavalcades technically. Before we head out of Main Street here, we should probably note the other two holiday things happening here besides the cavalcades and all the decorations. At the Main Street train station, finally the Dapper Dans have returned and they're doing their holiday shtick. It's really cool, it's really awesome. We're starting to see that live in entertainment return here to Walt Disney World. And then also over here at the Main Street Bakery, you can see there's a line right now. I feel like there's always a line at the Main Street Bakery lately. They have the twice upon a cupcake dessert they're selling here, which is a Christmas tree cupcake where when you slice it, there is a red velvet Mickey on the inside, on the inside of the cupcake and the breading there. It looks pretty awesome. Now, personally, there are some other holiday food items in the park I wanna check out more, but that is definitely one of the highlights here on Main Street. Let's head over to Tomorrowland. First up over here in Tomorrowland, Space Mountain has a 20 minute wait, which is pretty good. I was here yesterday and it had a 10 minute wait, but the real wait was definitely much longer. There are a bunch of switchbacks here outside. So the wait times can be a little tricky on this attraction. Definitely be sure to actually go look and see what the line is looking like here. And then over here next to the Tomorrowland Arcade, you can see just how much work is happening on the Tron Light Cycle Run Canopy that runs over the external ride track. Right now you can see that there are cherry pickers up there with a bunch of crews working on it. A crane just brought in another section of the canopy there that they are putting together. And there are more pieces that should be going up soon. What they're doing is assembling parts of it on the ground and then lifting them up into position. We're gonna go get a closer look at this from the other side, uh, looking from over by the Barnstormer area. But first, we have two holiday treats here we have to check out in Tomorrowland. First up here, we have the Just A Dream Away Shake obviously themed after the Carousel of Progress. Over here at the Tomorrowland Plaza stage, Buzz Lightyear has a Santa hat on and he's doing a meet and greet from a distance. We also have some other physically distanced meet and greets like over on Main Street. Some characters come out throughout the day at the Main Street train station. And then also there's some characters over at the Country Bear Jamboree in Frontierland. Look at Buzz over there. The holiday treat we're going to be checking out here in Tomorrowland is at the Cosmic Ray Starlight Cafe. I just mobile ordered it. It is the Spice Up Your Holiday Chicken Sandwich, I think. We're going to see what we got ourselves into here. Let's go get it. All right, everyone. Here we have the Spice Up Your Holiday Sandwich. If we take off the Santa Mickey Brioche Bun here, you can see the pickle slot right here. I don't actually see the sriracha aioli, but it's okay. Usually you have all those different condiments. Right now Disney has condiment packets, so we have some tomato ketchup here. We've got some honey mustard. Let's see how it is. There's really not a lot to say with the Cosmic Rays burger. I was excited by the prospect of having a savory holiday treat here in the Magic Kingdom, uh, but the chicken wasn't very good. It's not Chick-fil-A quality or anything. The sriracha aioli was missing, and you know, Cosmic Rays is Cosmic Rays. The counter service in the Magic Kingdom isn't the best. Looking behind me here though, speaking of things that are a little bit more exciting, here you can see the canopy coming together at the Tron Light Cycle Run. And something that's kind of wild is if you look at the Tomorrowland Speedway right now, there's a huge line. We were just over at Space Mountain and there wasn't much of a line. So to see such huge demand for the Tomorrowland Speedway here seems kind of odd. All right, let's go see what's going on at Tron. So everyone, here we are at the Tron Coaster and just look at all the work happening behind me on the canopies. You can see that section they're assembling on the ground here. You can also see another section already assembled above it that's on a platform. And then also behind the sign here, there's yet another section being assembled. All those pieces will be lifted into place and installed here as part of the canopy. You can see the work going on up there right now where they're installing a portion. And there's actually another section of the canopy also on the ground over on the Tomorrowland side. Now, last time I was here, the frame for the canopy, it did not extend as far as it does now. You can see it's actually all the way over here to the Barnstormer now, the piece that all the other pieces are mounted on. Sort of the structural support for the entire effect. And then you're going to have those pieces of acrylic or plexiglass that they put in those triangles on the canopy with the LEDs that completes that LED canopy effect. Now, the reason we're seeing so much work here right now is the subject of much speculation. One of the big rumors is that perhaps the reason we're seeing so much work happen at once is because they are gonna complete this canopy and then halt work and this attraction will not 
open until 2022. I'm just hoping that that rumored work halt doesn't happen and we continue to see this pace of construction continue. If Disney continued with this many people working on the attraction at once every day, they could have this thing done by like spring of next year, right? They could really get it done quickly. And it's so funny because we just heard the park's chairman say that they're speeding up work on the Splash Mountain re-theme. They're speeding up work on the Star Wars Hotel, something that's a big priority for Disney. It's so weird this isn't a big priority because I feel like this is the attraction when I talk to you guys. It's the attraction a lot of people are waiting for before they spend money on a big vacation because we know this is going to be an awesome attraction. We don't want to miss it. Everyone wants to check it out. It's going to be an awesome time. So that's the latest here at the Tron Coaster. Hear all that work behind us? There's a lot happening. Exiting Storybook Circus here you can see the line that wraps around for the Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. It wraps around that center area in the middle of New Fantasyland. Now because this is a socially distanced line it's actually not that long of a wait. Right now there is a 65 minute wait for the attraction. I met some fans who actually did it. They said the wait wasn't too long contrary to what you see here with the line. Back here in New Fantasyland at Gaston's Tavern they have Belle's Christmas Tree which is basically just a bunch of macaroons stacked on top of each other. At Storybook Treats here with the Tron Crane in the background they have a special Sunday. A very easy way to judge the crowd levels here in the Magic Kingdom is just looking at the stroller parking over here for the carousel. So as you can see there's a good amount of people here today. A lot of people waiting to go on the carousel. Last time we were here the scrim outside of the It's a Small World facade refurbishment was white. Now they have a themed scrim on the outside here. Always great to see when Disney does that. Even though the Halloween season is over there are still long lines here at the Haunted Mansion. Why wouldn't there be, right? Over here is where normally you get on the Liberty Bell, but currently, as you can see behind me, the Rivers of America is getting a massive refurbishment here. Right now, the refurbishment is set to last through February 28th, 2021, and you can see just how dry it is on the bottom of the Rivers of America here. They've gotten all the water out and they still have some pumps stationed around the river where there's still some puddles uh, that they are pumping the water out of. Safe to say for the guests who go over and visit this area when they see this, I think it's pretty obvious why the Liberty Bell is not running right now. Something very exciting over here in Liberty Square, the Muppets have returned here for the Christmas season. Here you can see some photos of their Christmas themed act. Over here outside of the Country Bear Jamboree, you can see we have a little bit of garland and it's lit up even during the day here. That looks awesome. Over here at Westford Ho, there is Chippendale's churro, which is a gingerbread churro with apple pie inside of it, something like that. Sounds pretty wild. And then also over here at Pecos Bills, there is another special holiday treat this year. There's the Let It Snow Taco, which is a dessert taco with some salted caramel on the inside. I think it's like a mousse. I was considering getting this one, but I think there's a better treat waiting for us over in Adventureland. Over here at the Aloha Isle, there is a special pistachio chai tea float, which comes with a red velvet cake pop made to look like an ornament. We wouldn't have covered all the holiday action going on over here in the Magic Kingdom without mentioning the holiday overlay to the Jungle Cruise. The Jingle Cruise is open here. It's so great to see that. You can see right now there's quite a long physically distanced line. The line extends out of that area where you see all those switchbacks. There's also people stretching all the way to the Swiss Family Robinson Treehouse pretty wild. All right, everybody, we've arrived at the Sunshine Tree Terrace. You can see right now there's not much of a line. Circling the Magic Kingdom the last few times there was a line. We are going to be getting the Orange Bird Christmas Dessert, which has this white chocolate shell. On the top here you can see we have Santa Orange Bird. I think this is a piece of chocolate. Look at this. It's like printed on there. And then here we have it looks like some green frosting. Now I've heard this actual sphere here is pretty hard. Yeah, see that? You kind of have to, it's like an ice pick. You got to get in there, look at that. <laughs> and in the inside, I think that's the white chocolate mousse. All right, guys, I tried this out. The inside, the orange is really good. So there's actually a layer of white chocolate mousse. And then inside of that, there's another layer. And that's where you have the orange flavor. Really nice. Here we are in the hub. The Princess Cavalcade is going by right now, and here you can see from the hub the work going on over at Tron. So that's everything going on in the Magic Kingdom as far as holiday stuff goes in the daytime. Here's the thing though, at night Cinderella Castle is coming alive. I'm very excited for us to see those and we're going to check them out right now.
All right, everyone, the sun is setting here in the Magic Kingdom. As you can see, the lights have turned on on the garland here outside. It looks so nice. It's time for us to head back in here and see what's going on with the castle. This year, we have new holiday projection, different patterns Disney's gonna be doing in the place of the castle dream lights you have on a normal year. So let's head in and see how it is. Happy holidays, everybody. Have a great day. The Dapper Dan's just finished up over here at the train station, looking around the Magic Kingdom right now. Here of the tree, it's all lit up. Looks so nice here on Main Street. And in the distance, you can see that castle. Since the parks reopened, we haven't seen Cinderella Castle at night, not with this new rose gold paint job. But now because of daylight savings time and Disney keeping the park open a little bit later here in the Magic Kingdom with the extended hours, we're about to see exactly what that looks like. Something that absolutely amazes me here is it's almost nighttime and we still have a line for the Main Street Bakery. We literally had a line here all day they must have made a lot of money. <laughs> Here we have the Santa Cavalcade again. Now at night. <laughs> All right, everyone, we've got to be getting close. Look at Cinderella Castle here. It's definitely lit up. There's no projections yet. All right, everyone, the lights have dimmed. It is exactly 6 p.m. Here we go. With our first holiday overlay. You can see even the show booths where they control the fireworks and all the show tech for the different shows here at Cinderella Castle. Even it's decorated along with the castle here. This seems very mini themed because of the polka dots. Let me know what you guys think. You see that? And there's a Christmas tree in the balcony. Now, while unfortunately there aren't any fireworks with this, we do get the spotlights around Cinderella Castle with two different stuff, which are really cool. But also something that's really cool that you would never see when we have the spectaculars going off is you can actually walk up to Cinderella Castle, get really close here, go through the tunnel while the projections are up. Normally this area is off limits because you know they're launching fireworks right behind Cinderella Castle. It's a little special thing. You can get up close to the castle projections here. Let's see some more designs. Now the castle is supposed to change every 15 minutes. Here we go, it's 6.15. Our next design. Oh, people like it, they're clapping, wow. You can see here we have, I don't know, to me it looks like a wrapped present. Let me know what you guys think it is. The colors are really cool. You can see you have the blue and the gold, and then you have I don't know what you would call that. It should be noted these different projection themes, they aren't just static images. They actually have animation to them where the lighting on them changes or the, in the case of this one, I think there's like some sort of pixie dust thing going on. A lesser known spot to view these is over here by the lagoon, either going to Liberty Square or going off towards Fantasyland. Just look at that and the reflection of the water there. Now the projection doesn't go all the way to the back. The back of the castle is not projection mapped, as you can even see from the side here, but it still is a really cool view of these different textures. And given that each of these are up for 15 minutes, you have plenty of time to see it from multiple angles. Behind me, you can see the crowd of people at the hub here. You can even see where the projectors are above the Main Street buildings there. Just such a scenic view with the Christmas tree. And Cinderella Castle here. This is wild. Right now, the Emporium line, the line for the Emporium you have on Main Street, it starts all the way over here past Casey's Corner by the Main Street restrooms. The notable thing with this castle overlay is it changed the colors of all the trees. So they are also red and green for the Christmas season here. I have to say, I'm surprised by the guest reaction here. People are really enjoying these different designs on the castle. They're just different themes being projected on Cinderella Castle in 15 minute intervals. People are taking photos with each of the different designs. They're gonna end up spending an hour here and they're like, oh, what's gonna be the next design? What's gonna be the next design? So I'm pleasantly surprised with how much everyone's enjoying these castle projections. I am a little fearful though that people are enjoying them too much and this might be an excuse not to spend the money on the castle dream lights like Disney does on a normal year which costs Disney millions of dollars to do because they have to fireproof the lights every year so I guess what I'm saying is these projections are really awesome I'm really glad people are enjoying it I'm enjoying it this is really cool being able to walk all the way around the castle go through the castle while the projections are on you can't do that on a normal year but at the same time I don't want to enjoy it too much and that end up giving an excuse for Disney not to do the dream lights anymore they have to keep doing the dream lights but this here is pretty cool too look at this guys even the fountain is red and green. 
That's so cool. All right, time for the next design. Wow. As you can see, we have another red and green design here with Christmas wreaths in the balcony. You guys see those projected on the curtain? That's so cool. I still can't get over the fact that you can get so close to the castle. If you guys are here this holiday season, you gotta go up close here. It's such a cool view. So everyone, we're back to the top of the hour here. They've rotated back around to the design we first saw at 6 p.m. Uh, so there are four designs. Every 15 minutes they change throughout the hour, starting at 6 p.m. So now you know the time, so you can time it out and check these out if you're gonna be here this holiday season. If you can make it here, I would definitely recommend it. The crowds are pretty heavy, I would say. Uh, some of the heaviest we've seen this year right now here in the Magic Kingdom, especially when you're talking Friday and Saturday, those days there are lines for everything uh, that are pretty long. So just a heads up there, you might think, oh, because of the social distancing situation, there aren't a lot of people in the Magic Kingdom, there aren't a lot of people in these parks. That is absolutely not the case. The Magic Kingdom is pretty busy this holiday season, and hopefully I showed you in this video exactly why that is. By the way, as I was walking away from Cinderella Castle, I got this view where you can see the moon and you can see one of those castle turrets with the projection on it. Just such an amazing atmosphere here in the Magic Kingdom. Be sure to subscribe with those notifications on so you stay up to date on all the latest Disney news as I keep bringing you videos like this, taking a look at everything going on in the parks. Also, be sure to check out our Teespring store. Link in the description below. We have some awesome gifts. We have masks, we have shirts, we have hoodies, lots of cool stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Live from Main Street USA here in the Magic Kingdom. Merry Christmas. Well, I guess it's still next month, but pretty soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Brayden. Have a magical day.